We've been going all over a lot of digital deals recently with the Golden Week sale, then the Games Under $15 sale, there's the Extended Play sale. However, low-key, Gamefly is having a killer physical PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game sale, and I want to take you guys through it because it has some awesome, awesome deals on it. You can also use the code MAY21SALE, that is MAY21SALE, to save an additional 10%, so you are getting even better deals, and we'll go over the prices with the coupon code, and you can get some really awesome deal so let's talk about it okay cyberpunk 2077 everybody's favorite game of 2020 uh it is already down to 18 dollars after the promo code holy hell has this game seen a fall from grace as far as its price point goes by the way these are pre-owned copies however they come complete with the box and if it has a manual all that stuff promo codes that if there's a voucher all that stuff will be there but yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 is $18. I didn't hate the game as much as everybody else, but this is a game you definitely don't want to play on the PS4. If you're going to play it, play it on the PS5. You'll get better performance that way, but the game itself definitely didn't live up to expectations. I don't think it's a terrible game, but yeah, promises made, promises were not kept with Cyberpunk 2077. Assassin's Creed Valhalla listed at $25 after the promo code $22.50. That's a really good deal for AC Valhalla. Uh, that's another game. If you play it on the PS5, upgraded frame rate, all that good stuff. Um, you know, I had fun with the game. I didn't think it was amazing just because these Assassin's Creed games aren't really my cup of tea anymore. Uh, but that's a pretty good deal. $22.50 for a game that's relatively recent. I think that's a solid pickup. Marvel's Avengers, another game that has just crashed down in price. It is $13.50 after the promo code. Obviously, this one also just had a PS5 upgrade, so that's pretty nice. Another game that, yeah, if you paid $60 for it, you probably felt really ripped off at 1350 i don't think it's like the worst pickup in the world just go into it with your expectations in line ghost of tsushima on the other hand after the promo code is 3150 oh yeah that's a good deal ghost of tsushima is a game that you should definitely check out in my opinion it was the best game of 2020 that and final fantasy 7 remake 1a 1b as far as my favorite game of 2020 but ghost of tsushima i absolutely love this game i thought it was a, a tad bit slow initially and i was like man am i not gonna like this game as much as i thought i would and then it just ramped up, you get all these weapons, combat gets great, story develops at a rapid pace, Jin becomes such an incredible main character, and then that ending, my god, that ending is one of the best endings in a video game that I can remember, and I just... Love the game, absolutely check it out. 3150 might sound steep for a game that is what, 10 months old at this point, but it's absolutely worth it. Star Wars Squadrons is down to $10.70 after the promo code. That is super, super cheap. I mean, yeah, check it out if you want. Sackboy A Big Adventure, $27 after the promo code, that's pretty good. Hitman 3 is down to $27 after the promo code, that's the PS5 version of the game. PS4 version is there as well for $27, that's really, really good. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers after the promo code will be $31.50, another relatively recent release, almost 50% off from its regular price. Immortals Phoenix Rising is $22.50, that's pretty good, that's after the promo code, that's another game that's been cratering down in price. Demon Souls on PS5, if you don't have it, this one after the promo code is $45. Now that sounds expensive, but bear in mind, Demon Souls brand new is $70, it hasn't seen a sale, so $40, uh, $45 is a $25 off discount, that's pretty pretty good all things considered watchdogs legion after the promo code if i can do my math correctly i believe would be 16 dollars 20 another really good deal last of us part 2 would be 27 dollars little nightmares 2 would be 18 dollars all these are pretty good black ops cold war 36 dollars uh, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory would be $22.50. Uh, actual, uh, actually, that Melody of Memory deal is really good because that game is like $40 on the PlayStation Store for Golden Week sale, so that's actually pretty darn good. Um, one thing to know about Black Ops Cold War, the PS5 version and the PS4 version are, are actually both listed at $40, but remember that the PS5 version actually does feature that $70 premiere price tag. So that is something to note as well. Godfall, you can have that for $27, but do you even want that for $27? You probably don't even want that for $7. Neo Collection is $45 after the promo code. Um, that's okay. Neo 1 and 2 upgraded for the PS5. Crash 4, it's about time. $27. 13, the remake is a $13.50, but yeah, no, no, no. Don't, don't buy that game. I don't even know why I mentioned it. Outriders, you can get that for $36. Wow, that's going down in price pretty fast. It's only a month old at this point. Um, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, $31.50. 
what else we got here? Metro Exodus is $18. Kingdoms of Amalur Ray Reckoning is uh, $16.20, which is pretty good. Neo 2, the PS4 version, which you'll get the upgrade to the PS5 performance, is $16.20 as well. Remnant from the Ashes is $13.50. That was plus recently, however. Uh, what else we got? Bloodborne, $16.20. Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4 for $31.50. Shenmue 3 for $13.50. Uh, Sakura Wars could be had for $27, which actually isn't all that bad. Uh, Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection is $18. That's Mega Man Zero 1 through 4 ZX ZX Advent. That's a ton of content for your money. Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition is $16.20. This is quite a bit cheaper on the PlayStation Store. I think it's down to like $9.99, so just bear that in mind. Concrete Genie, you can get that for $10.70. Watch Dogs 2, same price, $10.70. Valkyria Chronicles 4, $13.50. And it looks like those are the majority of the deals, but honestly speaking, pretty solid deals all around through this PlayStation Store sale. If I had to speak on highlights, if you have a PS5, I know Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that everybody bashed, but at $18, I think CDPR is going to remain committed to it and try to upgrade the game and make it better. Um, so... You know, it's not $60, it's $18. You already know that the game was a colossal disappointment, so you can go into it with your expectations, not sky high. I actually don't think that's a horrible, horrible pickup. AC Valhalla for $22.50, that's a pretty good deal, given that it's still relatively recent, and when it does go on sale, it's still at least $30. Bucks. Ghost of Tsushima, $31.50 is excellent. I believe the cheapest we've seen it for is $40, so $31.50 is a great pickup. I mean, if you have a PS5 and you didn't pick up Demon's Souls and you want to check out a Souls game, $45 for Demon's Souls is really good uh, all things considered hitman 3 might be that sleeper deal in this entire sale 27 dollars for that is really good and by all accounts it's a really good game i haven't played enough of it to really give you guys a final opinion just because there's been a bunch of stuff coming out recently and i've been trying to tackle the backlog a bit more than i probably should be but yeah a moral phoenix rising is also really good for 2250 and even watchdogs legion i know people memed on that game but 1620 like 16 bucks for watchdogs legion a game that just came out back in october i mean it is may at this point but still Seven months is not that long of a time for a game to drop to $16. Like, that's crazy to me. And Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory might be another sleeper deal in this entire sale because, again, that was, like, recently 40 bucks on the PlayStation Store. So let me know what you guys think. I actually think this is a pretty solid sale, all things considered, especially, again, use the code MAY21SALE. You'll save an additional 10%, and that makes the deals even better than they already are. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.